Okay folks, hello and welcome back to the series entitled Curiosities of Staffordshire. My first ever attempt at a series of YouTube videos and um, you join me now in the tiny little village of Muckleston which is about a mile and a half away from the battlefield of Blore Heath which um, hopefully in the last video, if you watch that one first, um, gave a brief outline of and here we are now just standing in the churchyard and the reason being is this rather innocent looking piece of iron right here and as you can see it's an anvil and this anvil comes from the smithy of one William Skelhorn who legend has it um, gave a great service to the house of Lancaster Sorry about the car there. Uh, gave a great service to the House of Lancaster following the defeat at the Battle of Blore Heath. And if we have a look at the plaque just here, you can see this anvil comes from the blacksmith that was used in 1459 to assist the Lancastrian Queen Margaret of Anjou to escape from the battlefield after, her, after she saw her forces routed. Now this is um, quite a notorious local legend, really, and um, like most legends it's a bit sketchy whether it actually has any basis in fact, but um, this, is the, this is the story anyway, and if I just get up and I'll show you the church tower, which is just up here, and um, reportedly from the top of that tower, the Lancastrian Queen Margaret of Anjou watched the entire battle unfold and saw her forces routed and um, made good her escape. Now there is a slight problem with that story and that is that you can't actually see the battlefield of Blorheath from the top of that tower. So um, it's unlikely that the story is accurate in that aspect, but I'm, I'm told there is actually another piece to the piece to the puzzle and that is that the tower once had a rather tall spire on top from which it was possible to see the battlefield which is some one and a half miles behind me right now anyway so this is the other little piece to the puzzle and um, how William Skelhorn helped Margaret of Anjou was to help her reverse the horseshoes on, on her horse to make it look like she was running off in the opposite direction. And um, again, somewhat unusual because it would kind of make it look like her horse was galloping towards the battlefield, I guess. But um, yeah, it's nonetheless, it's an interesting little bit of history and it's an interesting local legend and this is the village of Muckleston a couple of miles away from Market Drayton and a couple and about one and a half miles away from the battlefield of Blore Heath itself okay thanks for joining me